Well, good afternoon and welcome to session three on BSL learning some signs. Glad you're here. Last time we looked at six key words that are really, really useful. What, how, why, who, when and where. Hope you got on and of course if you've got those six right they can build into all sorts of things and then I asked you to go and away, away and look at countries and see what you could the signs for those countries were and see if they looked fairly obvious most of them are the signs are varying and changing quite a bit but there's some wonderfully unpolitical correct signs the old sign for Germany was that the German spiked helmet of the First World War. And then you've got Denmark, the strips of bacon, the marks on three strands on the bacon, and so on. And Scotland, bagpipes. And then you've got um, England, that's just an E, America, and so on. And I hope you found some others and I found them interesting to do and some of them will be quite obscure. Well today I'm just going to teach you a few other expressions mainly relating to food and drink. For instance would you like something? So it would be would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a coffee? So for tea, imagine you're holding a very dainty teacup, a cup of tea, one of those little ones we see in Victorian prints with cucumber sandwiches. Or you can say tea, and then you're likely to get a mug of tea, not a dainty little cup of tea. Tea or tea. And with tea, of course, it's milk. It's like milk. Imagine someone milking a cow or milk, pouring milk out of a milk jug. So milk and milk and sugar, spreading sugar over something as well. Sugar. So, like some sugar? Two? Okay. And so on. Coffee. Big C. Coffee. Water. Would you like a glass of water? I like you, glass of water. Okay like you a beer you know going to the beer and the handles for a pub going to a pub and the handles for doing this and a very important one if you're having lots of drink I like to you to use the toilet and um, that's an important one too and so what you're doing you don't say would you like you're saying like you whatever it may be tea coffee beer whatever like you the other thing about all these signs is they're directional so you can say like you a cup of tea and then you can look at someone else and said he'd like a cup of tea go and make one <laughs> and so on use the direction sort of would you like or you can point to something cakes would you like a cake that's on the table there in front of me would you like the toilet, which is over there? Directional signs. Use the directions all around you. All part of learning sign language. So that's a few there. Biscuits. You tap your elbow. Biscuits. I've no idea why that is the sign for biscuit. And no one can ever tell me, but they do. Sandwiches. Imagine two bits of bread being put together. Sandwich. Like you, like that, a sandwich. And then there's a cake. Imagine your plate, your hands a plate, and a little sort of fairy cake going on it. Do you like a cake? Like you a cake. If you can do those, you can make people welcome, you invite them into the house, you can share at the end of the Deaf Church service, say, what people would like. Biscuit, sandwich, tea, tea, coffee, water, beer and toilet. 
Okay, that's probably enough of that. But practice with those directional. Who would like the cup of tea? And you go make so and so a cup of coffee and so on. That's all part of it too. See how you get on with that and I will see you next time. Homework for that is again start looking up in BSL dictionaries, other things that people might like if they come into the house for a dinner, breakfast, supper, and so on. Soup, toast. See if you can find a load more of those as well. And see how you get on with those. And many thanks. Thank you.